Welcome again. But before we start, I must say well done to all of you to take your first step into the beautiful world of weightlifting. I hope that you've gone through the warm up from the last episode and practice them. Because remember, without those smaller movements and without getting the technique perfect, you will not be able to maximize your gains in weightlifting. In this episode, we're going to be talking about and learning how to do the clean. Once again, we're going to break this movement down into three or four smaller steps before we attempt the whole movement. Specifically, we're going to attempt this movement from three different positions. One is the high hang, the hang and below the knee. Once we've got these movements correctly from these three positions, then we will do the whole movement from the ground. The first part is the high hang power clean. In this movement, you will start from the dip position, pulling the bar up close to the body, finishing up into a front squat position, but making sure that we are just landing in the squat with the position, not into a complete squat. Once we've got the high hang position sorted, the next to move on to is the hang power clean. Once again in the hang power clean, we will start the bar from mid thigh, moving up slowly till we reach the dip position. And from there, that's when we pull the bar up nice and strong, keeping the bar close to the body, landing in a partial dip position with the feet squat width apart. The last one, is the power clean from below the knees. Once again, everything stays exactly the same as you can see. Just the starting position is going to be from below the knees. You pull the bar up slowly, keeping it in constant touch with the body. And then once you reach the dip position, that's where you apply the force and fall into the dip position with feet falling squat width apart. One thing to make sure when you attempt the power clean, is that keep your elbows up nice and high and make sure the bar lands closer to your collarbone and not towards your shoulder. Now we move on to the next part. Once we land into the power clean, all you're gonna do from here is follow through with the front squat. Now that we've perfected the power clean and the follow through, it's time to move into the squat clean. In this particular movement, the idea is to pull yourself under the bar rather than pull the bar up and then fall into a squat. The part over here where you apply the force is from the dip position when you pull the bar into a shrug and then the high pull. This is the point where the bar becomes almost weightless and this is the point where you move your arms around the bar getting your elbows up nice and high into a front squat position and falling into a squat. Now that we've done the squat clean from the high hang position, the hang position and from below the knee, it's finally time to do the squat clean as it should be done from the ground. Before you attempt this movement, make sure you got your starting position right. You're in a good clean deadlift position before picking up the bar. Your hands are in the right position, feet in the right position. From here, you start moving the bar up slowly. And once again, when you reach the dip position, that is where you apply the force and pull the bar up. So guys, that was the clean for you. Please remember to practice the warm up before you start attempting the actual movement and then break it down exactly as shown in the tutorial. Do it as many times as you need to, to make sure that you've got this absolutely correct. Stay tuned for more regular updates. And in the meanwhile, don't forget to share your post and your stories on our social media. Remember to hashtag Shivoham Speaks and also tag SF Health Tech and myself and let us know about your progress. Until next time, lift well and lift strong.